Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to download uh, .NET 8 and install it in your local machine. Then uh, I will uh, use Visual Studio 2022 to create a console application based on the .NET 8 uh, runtime and then we'll run the application. Okay, so before you proceed, uh, check uh, how, whether you have .NET 8 or not. So first go to, you can go to command front. Okay, there are multiple ways to check it but i will show you a simple technique so and then type dotnet 8 here and hyphen sorry dotnet here and hyphen hyphen info so this will show you all the dotnet versions installed in your system you can see multiple versions of uh, uh, dotnet is installed in my system these are the sdks so dotnet 7 is the latest one which is installed here so uh, let's uh, go ahead with uh, this. So what I would like to tell you is that uh, .NET 8 will not run under uh, the older versions of Visual Studio. So it will need at least 17.8. As you can see, I have 17.5. So uh, if you don't have 17.8, so first you have to update it. So open your Visual Studio installer. Okay. If you have any Visual Studio tool, uh, downloaded then you will already have visual studio installer so go go to your you know uh, start and then start uh, typing visual studio installer and then it will come up here if you don't have it then you download visual studio uh, from microsoft site and then uh, visual studio installer will also get installed and it will do all the rest of the things that is it will install visual studio in your system okay now i have already uh, this version community edition 2022 let's update it uh go and click on this update all right so it took a while to up, up, upgrade uh, my visual studio uh, community edition so uh, what i will suggest is uh, you can go for a coffee or something and then come back and uh, uh, hopefully by that time it will it will have update upgraded your system so when it upgrades to 7.8 it installs the dotnet 8 runtime so now the dotnet 8 runtime is installed in your system so this technique is uh, through the visual studio installer so you can use dotnet to install dotnet 8 using visual studio installer by upgrading your visual studio okay so if you want to check uh, your dotnet run, uh, runtime click on this modify button and uh, then it will open the uh, components and you can see there so you, you go to this individual components and you can see here dotnet 8.0 runtime so now it is installed Okay, so the next step uh, is to create a, a console application based on .NET 8.0 runtime and then we will run it. Uh, so open Visual Studio. So click on create a new project. Here select console app. And you can, if you are not finding it here, just search for it. Uh, using this uh, search bar and click on next here give a, na a name to your app okay so i'll say dot net 8 demo console and click on next so now here in this drop down you can see uh, the previous versions which i have installed before this so now the dotnet 8.0 is uh, available so and it is selected by default so uh, you can uh, so you can keep it uh, as it is and then click on this create button so here you can see uh, by default this is what uh, it does it, it uh, provides you a small template like this okay an example code uh, so uh so this is our project this is the program.cs file only one file is there uh, so we can actually run this or we can say uh, just modify this a, a bit like uh, hello viewers yeah and then add this line so that the console doesn't close so read key so uh, you hit any key and then it will uh then it then only it will close okay so that's our console application 
So once you go to edit pro uh, project properties, you, you'll be able to see the target framework dot at 8.0. Okay. So which is that this console application is based on dotnet 8.0. Now let's uh, run this. So you can see now the text is appearing here in the console application. Hello viewers. So hit any key and it will close it. Okay. So now the console application is closed. The project has been stopped. So that's how you upgrade your Visual Studio and then uh, it will be the so .NET 8 runtime will be installed. So there's another way uh, if uh, you want to follow that way also it is fine. Uh, in that way you can download .NET 8 and install it manually. So if you want to do that go to your browser and here just type uh, .NET 8 download and go to this link here you will see uh, all these different runtimes you can install uh, if you want to uh, install it one by one you can do it or you can install it as a package uh, so if you want to do that so so for example like my operating system is windows right so windows 10 and uh, you can then uh, select this x64 here and then it will download the uh, uh, the the package itself then you manually install it uh, by uh, double clicking on that executable and then it will install it uh, in your system now uh, you can see what is part of that package so so these are the things which will be installed as part of that so it will upgrade all these things sv.net core desktop runtime and the dotnet runtime all right and it, it supports all these languages so this is another way of uh, installing uh, .NET 8 and here you also have the flexibility uh, to select uh, based on your operating system you can select the package and then you you, you do it okay so uh, so that's about this uh, tutorial uh, i hope it is uh, useful to you so if you like this video then please uh, hit the like button and uh, and do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon thank you